What's going on guys? Welcome back. Hope you are doing well. In our last video, we went over our project setup and how some of the ins and outs of Xcode work with things like the canvas, the preview, our editor, our project navigator, and all of that good stuff. So in this video, we are gonna be getting started with how to add user interface components to our application. So we are gonna be starting off with how to add text to our app. So we can already see an example of that here. We're adding some text. This uh, particular screen is also adding an image. We're gonna start with this text component. So what I want us to do is go over to our project navigator and we are gonna create a new folder here, guys. We're gonna organize all of these modules into different folders to keep our Project Navigator really neat and organized. So you can right click on that and select New Group, and you guys are gonna notice that creates a folder for you, and we're just gonna call this guy Text. And then within Text, we are gonna create a new file. So to do that, you can once again right click on that and hit New File, or the shortcut that I typically do is just hit Command N and you do that with that particular folder highlighted. And guys, here we are gonna select a Swift UI view. And then we're gonna hit next and we're gonna call this text module. And you guys will notice that it creates this text module for me. It has some boilerplate code. So it just starts this off with the text component which we're gonna be using and it defaults it to hello world. And then it also automatically generates the preview for me. If you guys are taking this uh, and iOS 17 has launched, um, which is coming pretty soon, uh, I think it's coming within the next couple of weeks, uh, your preview will look different. Um, that's okay, don't really worry about it. And at some point in this module or this course, I'm sure I will update to the new Xcode 15 and iOS 17 stuff. Um, but anyway, guys, let's now start going over how we can customize this text and add our own text and stuff. So really quickly, let's just go ahead and delete this and type it out ourselves. So you guys will see that if we type out text, it comes up in our autocomplete window, and we have a couple different options, right, that we can select here to display text in our application. But really quickly, I just want us to take a look at what this uh, description says. A view that displays one or, one or more lines of read-only text. So this is like a label, right? So as we can see here, it just says, hello world. So you open that up and then you pass in a string. So we can he go here and say, hello, bootcamp, right? And you guys will notice that that updates in real time on the preview as we discussed in the last video. So that's really cool, right? So pretty simple, but how do we customize this stuff? So we are gonna be doing that with the use of something called view modifiers. So in Swift UI, guys, modifiers are a fundamental concept used to modify and customize the appearance and behavior of views. So to start this off, let's see if we can modify the font of this. So go ahead and go to a new line, and you're going to say dot .font. And you guys will see here that this sets the default font for the text in the view. And then Swift UI gives us a bunch of preset fonts, which is really nice. We can say dot .large title. And you guys will notice that instantly my text becomes much bigger, right? So this is what's known as a view modifier. And this particular modifier is unique to text components. Um, but let me just talk more about what this is, guys. So essentially, SwiftUI is a declarative framework, right? And it relies heavily on these modifiers or this thing we just applied to style and customize our views. So we can chain modifiers together, as we'll see here in a second. And this allows us to apply various transformations, such as changing the color, font, alignment, layout, or even animations to a view or group of views. So let's go ahead and continue on with some of these modifiers, guys. So I can change the color of my text. I can say dot foreground color. And once again, we get a bunch of preset colors. And I could say dot blue. And you guys will notice that that changes my text to this nice blue color. And then I could, you know, also say maybe dot font weight. And this will allow me to apply a particular weight to my font. I could say dot heavy. And that will give it this really heavy, bold look. I could say dot light. And that will give it that really light sort of look right there. I could also say dot semi bold. There's a bunch of preset uh, sort of font weights that we get from SwiftUI as well. So this is just giving you guys an idea of 
how we can customize our view with these view modifiers, right? We can chain them together in any order that we want most of the time, and it will apply those stylings or those customizations to the view that we are applying these modifiers to, right? So like I said, modifiers can be combined in any order. So I could take this guy, cut it, put it right there, and it has the same effect, right? So this is the foundation and the core of how we are going to be building user interfaces and customizing our views, guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you a couple more text modifiers that we can introduce um, just so we can get um, a feel for how this stuff works and have some fun with it. So let's imagine if we made this text longer, right? So like, hello, bootcamp. This is the best bootcamp for Swift UI in the world, right? Hope you guys are having fun with me here. And guys, let's see how we can apply some different stylings to this, right? Let's go ahead and one, change the font to maybe like sub headline. And that's gonna make it a lot smaller, right? And then maybe let's go and see what we would want this to look like if we want to center our text here. So we notice right now, that our text is aligned to the leading edge when it goes on to more than one line. We have this other really cool property called multi-line text alignment, and we could say dot leading, right? And that's what it defaults to. We could also say center. And you guys will notice that when it goes to a new line, it centers that. And then we could also say dot trailing, right? So that's pretty cool. And another thing we can do guys is we can italicize our text we can underline our text and all of that good stuff, right? So this just gives you guys an idea of how you can mess around with your Swift UI views and chain all of these view modifiers together to style and customize your view component. So that's really gonna wrap it up for this text module, guys. I don't wanna drag this on too long. I think that's pretty self-explanatory for now. Um, in the next one, we are going to be moving on to shapes with Swift UI. So how we can create shapes like circles, rectangles, and all of that good stuff and what we use that stuff for. So hope you guys are having fun with this. We can see just how powerful Swift UI is and how easy it is to build and customize user interfaces. And we're gonna keep going and see how fun and amazing this new framework from Apple really is. So get excited for that, guys. We'll see you there. Peace.